Hey there, Country Faith Church. I'd just like to encourage you about some unity as we go into this uh, two weeks of prayer and fasting. And uh, I was reminded of uh, Jesus' high priestly prayer in John 17. And uh, beginning in verse 20, Jesus says, I do not ask on behalf of these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them that they may be one just as we are one. Verse 23, I in them and you in me that they may be perfected in unity so that the world may know that you sent me and love them even as you have loved me. So it's interesting. It's our heart at Country Faith that we would grow and work together to love God, love each other, and spread the gospel. And Jesus makes it clear here that there's this um, unity that happens between the Son and the Father, that he would also desire that us as believers would have that same unity, that we would be one. And in that, that the world would see the love that we have for each other and the gospel would be spread. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Country Faith Church. I thank you for uh, these ones that have decided to seek your face, to humble themselves and desire to uh, see you um, glorified in our communities and throughout our church and even throughout our state and land. So Father, I ask that uh, first and foremost that your presence would be thick among us that we would give our hearts fully to you, that you would reign as king on our hearts, and that we would love each other, love one another. I ask that our care groups, life groups, would be built up and strengthened as we move in unity. I ask for individuals, families, that families would be strengthened and that the bonds of unity and love for each other would be strengthened. And as that grows in our life group and our church grows, that we would work together, that there would be unity. We come against the spirit of discord and disunity that would, would like to divide and separate and ask, Father God, that your spirit would be thick. We know that your blessing is upon us as we walk in unity and dwell together in unity. And then, Father, we ask for our communities around us, that your presence too would lead and guide each one of us as we move out into the communities. I think of our ministerium and ask for your blessing upon the ministerium that there would be unity amongst those that are preaching the living word and um, that truly um, that would transform our communities. And we ask for this state, Father God, that the churches would work together to stand up against the tide of evil that your name would be lifted up and that you would be glorified in our state and in our land. We say, have your way, Lord God, and help us to lay down our own passions and desires for yours, that we all might be one as you are one and that you would be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.